Hello, my name is Jeremy Martin and today I'm going to explain for you the fundamentals of photojournalism. The field of photojournalism is a vast and very interesting field to dive into. The ability to tell stories and show examples of powerful imagery is a talent that must be mastered through not only instruction, but with the guidance of trained professionals. However, once mastered, this field can take you places you had never thought possible and open new horizons for your journalism career. That said, there are several different forms of equipment that you will need and several techniques that you may need to practice before mastering the art of photojournalism. So with that, let's get started. First off, you're going to want to use either a DSLR camera or if you are allowed to, particularly if you're a student more likely, you could also use the camera on your iPhone. Modern day phones have amazing cameras that in some cases can mimic the abilities and various properties of an actual DSLR camera. Here are several proper examples of strong images taken by photojournalists throughout different periods of time. Each one of these images tells not only an impactful story, but a very strong one at that, within its nature, its content, and the way it was crafted. All of these images have also gone down in history to be very famous images within the area of photojournalism and within photography in general. So I've been studying journalism for a few years now in college, and I actually have done quite a bit of my own work uh, throughout my college career. We've been shown several different pictures, such as the ones that you just saw, and other pictures that were taken and well, been well known throughout the history of photojournalism. That said, I have not only did photo work, but I've also edited photos and, you know, balanced them out, things like that, throughout my entire college career. That said, here is some of my own work. A couple of the techniques that we are told to use is to use simple backgrounds and that you should get super close to your subject. Remember, if your pictures aren't good enough, you are not close enough. Another thing that is especially important with photojournalism is people. People help tell a story and drive narrative throughout a photo. They also help portray action and often the stories or events that these images are taken for involve the presence of people. Therefore, people make photos stronger and help in the efforts of telling a good story. All in all, photojournalism is a very important part of the field. The ability to tell stories and convey a message solely through imagery will not only improve your writing, but your overall resume within the business. That said, photojournalism is something that journalists of all types should master, even if it's not your first desired avenue within the field. So now that you know some of the equipment you'll need and the techniques to use while you're going out and shooting pictures, Get out there and have fun. Happy shooting!